Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn how to upload an image from Google or an image you already have saved to your desktop um, to the Cricut Design Space. We're also going to learn how you slice an image. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is click on new project and that will open up your blank canvas. So, actually no, I take that back. First thing you wanna do, or it doesn't really matter the order I guess, you wanna go to Google you want to search what image you're looking for and we're going to be doing hey arnold then click on images and then you're just going to find what image you like i'm going to do this one i'm going to right click the image i'm going to save picture as and you'll type in whatever you want the image to be It will back to Cricut Design Space. Okay, so you're gonna go click Upload. And you're gonna upload image. You're gonna click Browse. And then you're gonna just find that image. Okay, so here is where you were delete anything you don't want Let's see, make this smaller for you you'll delete anything you don't want or you can crop this is the crop you can crop the picture if you would like to crop the picture um, but I'm actually not gonna do anything with this so we're just gonna leave this picture as and we're gonna hit continue all right so here you see save as print then cut image so that's what you want for a picture, um, and you're going to print on picture paper or pre, uh, picture vinyl. Here it says save as cut image, and if you click on this for a picture, it, the image won't come, because this is going to be just regular vinyl. So you're going to click on save as print, then cut image, and click save. My computer is lagging for some reason. Okay, so here, as you can see, I already started this earlier, but I'm just redoing it so you, I can show you how I did it. So your image is right here. So we're actually going to do another image um, so I can do his football head. And now I have to remember, oh, I know what I did. Okay, so I just went up here to cartoon and I found what image I wanted to use. Now I'm just looking for the image. Okay, this is the image. Okay, so then you're going to do the same as that thing. Right click, save picture as. And I already have this picture saved that you can see right here, so I won't be saving it. But you can just click, type in whatever you want it to be saved under for the file name, and then click save. Then you'll go back to Cricut Design. Upload image. Click the image, open. And you're going to click, you always want to use complex. Let me show you. See, if you click simple, it takes some of the color away. So, you got simple is basic colors. And a little bit more colors than complex is the original picture. So, you always want to use complex. Go to continue. And here, I'm going to take away the white background. And I'm going to erase his body. I'm going to erase everything besides his neck and up. So, I'm just going to... Click here, so I only want his neck. And I already did this as well, I'm just showing you how to do it. Okay, then we'll just erase the rest. All right, then we click continue. Okay, so for this image, I want to save as cut image. Because this is the image we'll be using for you to practice the slice on. So you'll see that once we get started. Okay, so now I have my picture that I want. And then I have the other, well, I have two pictures that I want. Or two images, I should say, that I want. I'm going to click both images. Now they're down here. So say, for instance, if I clicked too many images, I can just click the X and it'll take it away. So I have my images. I'm going to go ahead and insert images. 
uh, once it loads your picture image will always load um, bigger and then you'll just have to make it smaller I'm not for sure exactly why it does that but going on with my computer right now okay <sighs> so when it does this something I could just duplicate it and then it'll act right okay so here's our image so now that you know how to upload your image to Cricut Design Space now we're going to try using our practice using the slice feature so as you can see when you move the hey arnold head um over the picture it goes to the back of the picture so what you're going to do is you're going to click the picture you're going to go up here to arrange and you're going to send to back so the head will be up front you want the head on top whatever image you're using to slice you want to be over your picture so we're going to make the head as big as we want it to get as many of the characters in it as possible and you can always unlock your image and move it that way as well. And if need be, you can make this picture bigger too. I'm not for sure why the image is. There we, there we go. If you want, you can turn it either way. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to highlight the picture in your head. You're going to go down here to the right hand corner where it says slice. So once you click slice, it will cut out um, your two images together, basically. So we're going to delete this black head and we're going to delete the image. And now we have the Hey Arnold head image with the picture cut into, well, I'm not for sure exactly how to word that. But you see, you have the Hey Arnold image onto the football head um, cut image that you had so that is how you slice and you can put this on a shirt or do whatever you want to do with it so I want to show you one more thing to say for instance we wanted to put this on a shirt this is something just to see how it would look um, I go over here to templates then I go down to shirt so say for instance, if you had a customer who wanted this on this image on a t-shirt, but they weren't for sure exactly how it would look, or they weren't for sure, weren't for sure what color t-shirt they wanted, this is what I would do. This is how I go about uh, my business. So once you have the t-shirt image come up, you're going to click this empty square box in between the two zeros up here in the top left corner, and it will get rid of your grid lines. So now you can make this. Size is how you want it to fit on a t-shirt. Okay, so now you can maybe take a screenshot of this shirt with that on it. You can send it to them and say, for instance, they said they didn't want a white shirt. They wanted a black shirt. You'll come down here to the right-hand corner where it says classic t-shirt. Click that. And up here, you will go change the color. So we can change it, shut the shirt to black if that's what we want it. Whenever my computer loads. Okay, there we go. And then, you know, you can, once again, take a screenshot of that, send it to them. Um, you can change the shirt to whatever color you have here. And like I said, that's just an example. So I always, when I make t-shirts, I always make the image. And then once I'm done designing the image, I go ahead and put it on a t-shirt template. 
so I can take a screenshot and send it to my customer before I cut anything out or print anything out. Therefore, I'm not wasting ink. I'm not wasting uh, picture paper. I'm not wasting vinyl. I'm not wasting anything because they've already approved it and said they like it before I even created it. So, and you can always use this as an example, too. If you, I know a lot of people make, um, like, they'll screenshot this and then they'll post it and mark and have it as uh, posted for sale before they even make the t-shirt so that's just something to think about all right so that is concludes today's video um this is how you do slice and this is how you upload an image from google i hope you enjoy the video thank you